Hello, all you fishies out there. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode. Guess what, guys? Our brain is working, and now we're filming a new video. Yay! So, we are actually making Sundrop and Moondrop's hands in this video. So, we are back. We took a little break, but we are back, guys. We're making Sundrop and Moondrop. Still, this is part two, which it may have been the limbs, but instead we are going for the hands first and then the limbs. Just because I am still working on the limbs, uh, the video I recorded ain't the greatest. I always keep forgetting to center things in the camera. And that happens sometimes in some of these videos, but I was like, no, I don't know if I want to post this because, um, yeah, it wasn't centered at all. So, uh, or some parts of the limbs weren't very centered. So currently we are actually making the hands. So you get to see how I make each individual finger. So we're currently doing that. And then I just use the different clay tools and the actual pieces that go because I don't want to use the whole handle. Sometimes it's just easier to take the little piece and use that. So we're putting each finger on a wire and then we're, you know, defining each or I always say, you know, I, <laughs> I need a, you know, counter, <laughs> which I I've been editing them out. I've been paying attention when I talk and I say, you know, too much. So we're going to try to remember not to say, you know, so if I do, then we'll have to do a counter. It'll be like a drinking game or something for adults, not for any younger viewers. It's for younger viewers. You can drink soda or something and that'll be your soda drinking game. Going to try not to say the word from now on or the phrase, but each finger we're just making everything's a little sped up, but hopefully it's still very clear enough for you to make these if you want to make them. And again, we're just doing the hands and there's Voss. Hi, Voss. Meow. Meow. Hi, Voss. You want to say hi? Meow. Come here. Want to say hi? Nope. She's like, nope. <laughs> but you might be able to hear Voss in the background if the mic picks her up. Uh, yeah. So each finger, you get to watch me make each into a each individual finger and Voss is talking in the background. So she wants to make this puppet too. And we're just making those fingers. Obviously, I'm gonna show you each individual step instead of some of the stuff like speeding it up or whatever. And I do speed up some of it, but I know, you know, sometimes people actually want to make stuff. So. This is, again, a little marionette puppet of Sundrop and Moondrop. I think you can guess whose hands we're making right now, which is Sundrop, obviously. I figured his hands might be, you know, his fingers would be splayed out more. His hands would be more out wide. I still have to figure out how I'm going to rig up the puppet. I kind of, I wing things. Like, this puppet is all just... I'm just making it right now. It's just, I'm going for it. We'll see how it looks when it turns out. That's the thing. Everybody's like, oh, hey, how do you do this? How do you come up with this? Sometimes I plan things out and sometimes I just wing things. So this is one of those projects where I'm winging it. I'm not making it like off screen. I'm doing the whole thing on screen. So I'm just like, go for it. And that first hand, you didn't get to see me, like, that was already made. That was the video that was not centered that I took out because I was like, uh-uh, no, get out of here. <laughs> I was not centered at all. And yeah, we just put a little ball in there and then the eye hook for the hand to attach to the arm. So make sure to do that. And there's those finger holes and we're putting another one of those in. So, it, you know, the little extra ball of clay is just to look kind of like the joints obviously the, it's not going to be like perfect whereas the game is obviously a 3d digital creation where i'm making a 3d model 
out of actual clay versus a 3D model online. So it's not going to exactly be the same. It won't exactly work the same. Sun Drop and Moon Drop are kind of based... They're pretty much like puppets anyway. So they're puppets, but they're not realistic enough to where, you know, it's going to be perfect. Hi, Voss. Voss really wants to say hi. She wants pets. So Voss is here in the background. Now we're making Moondrop's hands. Yay. And that first actual clip from the video is actually me making the base of Moondrop's hand. And now we came back to Moondrop's hand. So we went and I, I basically just moved the clip just because I realized the beginning of the clip would have already been like there was a finger. I was already work like, you know, I already had the base. Oh, there I go again, you know. <laughs> so I would have already had the, the base done in one of the fingers. So I was like, okay, I'm moving this clip to the beginning of the video so you can see how the base is made so there's no confusion. Uh, hopefully that made that a little bit, you know, easier to understand. Whereas you're already starting in it. And we just bend the wire a little bit. I just bought wire from like a hardware store I can't really exactly remember where but it's just wraps of wire and I know you know Ace of Clay and some other people use like armature wire but honestly armature wire is very overpriced just because of the brand name like it's specifically to make armature for a clay figure when you literally could just go to a hardware store Get the wire that's wrapped up, like multiple wires are wrapped up together, and then just unravel and snip off the pieces you want. And then that's basically what I do. So I'll if I need something thicker for a leg or the body, I might braid three together or twist two together for like a leg or an arm or something. That can be easier. It's a cheaper way. You have a big spool of wire and it goes a lot longer versus like armature wire is... You might pay $8 for a little spool, whereas you can pay that same 8 ish 10 $15, get a huge spool, and just unravel it. Then you have three, four times the amount of just one thing, or, you know, you could have 20 times the amount. Obviously, armature wire is only so long, so much. It's easy bendable, but this stuff works just as well. Honestly, as long as your wire is pliable and if you need it to be thicker, you just wrap multiples together. It works the, you know, perfectly fine. I'm very happy with it. Voss is just going to be in this video. <laughs> Voss wants to help. <laughs> she wants to help keep me calm while I explain the video. She is a little service animal in a way. Uh, she is an ESA, so... She's like, oh, I need to say hi and make sure you're okay. Although it's probably more for her. She's an ESA, but at the same time, it's like, am I your emotional support animal or are you my emotional support animal? Sometimes I wonder that with cats. Cats are very finicky. Uh, <laughs> and we're just making the, the rest of these limbs. And it's pretty much all the same. Very simple Obviously, I'm recording all the different hands and all the different stuff and yada yada. But, you know, uh, doesn't I didn't have to record all of it. But I felt like, you know, this would be more interesting because I get to do the different hands and the different stuff and show you a little bit of everything. So there's that hand. Then we're gluing on that little eye hook and it looks all nice. Then we're going to bake it. At the end, I think this one, I paint it. Yeah, I do. I use a little bit of that bacon bond and paint it on the fingers just to make sure they're secure and stable. They're tinted yellow because I was painting something yellow. I guess I was doing something with watercolor. Did not wash my brush all the way, but it really doesn't matter because it gets baked. Then, you know, you paint over it anyway. There's another, you know, I might be editing those out. You're going to paint over it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> it's just an extra thing to add into there. I'm on a one brain cell day, I guess. Uh, a little bit of that. 
There's more of those eye hooks, more of those fingers. Just trying to make sure you know exactly what you're doing. I don't want you to be in the dark. It's fun. It's exciting. We like sun drop and moon drop. And the FNAF game is pretty fun. So, you know, these were the characters I had to make. Some other people were requesting, like, maybe Vanny or something like that. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I won't. I don't know if I'd make them into puppets or sculptures. Really depends on what I can get myself to work on. Because lately I had started a bunch of these projects and I've been taking a break. So that's why I've been gone is just I get a little overwhelmed because I do a lot of projects off YouTube. And I'm always working on something. I'm always trying to force myself to be creative and do more stuff. Improve my skills. Be artistic. Yada yada. But you can get burnout. Like as much as I love making art. You can get burned out in anything. So I took a break for a while. I started reading books again. Which is really fun and exciting. And for me anyway. I like reading books. I love a lot of horror and sci-fi stuff. So I've been reading some books. I've been reading Jaws. Comparing it to the movie, I still love the movie way more because there is a lot of controversial, sh can't say that word yet, right? <laughs> controversial stuff in the Jaws book that they left out of the movie and the movie is just beautiful. And one of the things that freaked me out as a child watching Jaws was the fact that the shark just looked so abnormal, like not quite real, not quite unrealistic, so... That freaked me out as a kid and the Captain Quint death scene just traumatized me because I was a little kid when I watched that movie. So it was a little traumatizing, but now I absolutely love sharks. Obviously, my YouTube and my Instagram are all bull shark bait art because I always told myself that I was the shark bait because I did have an encounter with a shark uh, many years ago just swimming with an ex. We were in the water. We were the furthest people out, like very few people around. I was splashing around. I fell back and I fell into a shark. It just happened to be swimming up behind me. Glad I wasn't shark bait. I love sharks, but if you bite me, then I'm going to be mad at you. So let's not do that. <laughs> All right, guys, we are coming to the end of this. We're, again, speeding through that last hand of Moondrop. I just wanted to throw in that extra stuff. And yes, you can see the wire. But it will be painted over, so you do not have to worry about that. There's those. We're just ending this video. I want you guys to make sure you take a bite out of that like button. Take a bite out of the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Make sure you take a bite out of more videos. Watch more content. If you haven't watched part one of this video, make sure you watch part one. They don't have to be exactly in order or watched in order, but just make sure you watch more videos. It's good. It's fun. It's art. It's exciting. We like it. It's, <laughs> it's something to entertain yourself. Sometimes you can put these videos on in the background and mute them if you want and listen to other things. And that's what I do. I like to, you know, have multiple things going on at once. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys sticking around with me. I know I'm all over the place right now, but I'm working on it. We're slowly getting there. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Don't forget to do all the stuff we talked about. Make sure you have a lovely day. Be blessed. Stay mad. And buh bye bye Look at those hands. Woo!